Yes, people, how are we all doing? So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about Peter Lynch, 61-year-old father of four, took his own life in HMP Moreland on Saturday night. Sadly, he took his own life because of the prison and because of being inside of prison. And from my personal view, he should not have even been in prison in the first place. Now, those of you that are not familiar with this, because it is not on the news channels, so I haven't seen it up until now, it is on the media outlets online, but there's no news or what I've seen up until now on the main headlines. Because obviously, with the situation, with the protesters, rioters, will not want this type of media getting out. But like I said, it's in the newspaper articles online. But well, Peter Lynch from Doncaster was sentenced to two years and eight months for his involvement in the protests back in August. Now, Peter Lynch, 61-year-old father of four and a grand grandfather, was a hard-working man. He's someone that had diabetes, thyroid issues, angina, and he had recently suffered a heart attack. Now, from everything that I've seen, I've looked online, and I've seen the video where he was involved in the protests. I'm not even going to say riots, because a lot of them weren't there rioting. They were protesting for what they believed in. And it was not long after the Stockport murders, where the young girls were murdered, what everyone first believed, because of the news outlets, may I add, the likes of BBC News and Sky News that put it all over, seeing that it was an illegal immigrant that had murdered these bands or these kids. So a lot of people had it in their minds about this, and everybody <clears throat> that wanted to go out and protest, protesting against the immigrants or the illegal immigrants coming into the country, but a lot of them were out there protesting, seeing their bit and seeing their peace against the government, but for the way that they've let it happen. Now, I've done videos on this previously. I won't go over it too much. And from my personal opinion, from what I've seen as well, a lot of them, like Patrick, were fed up of seeing all the illegal immigrants coming into the country, not the ones that have come in on visas that are working, the ones that have come in illegally, the ones that have been housed in hotels, and obviously with the BBC News and that were broadcasting about these murders being done by an illegal immigrant, the reaction straight away was for people to go out onto the streets and protest. Now, there was no aggression from what I've seen by Peter Lynch. When I've looked into the videos, I, uh, there's, there's one video where the police at Frontline, if you go and have a look online, you will see it, it's on the Daily Mail um, news page. So uh, Peter is coming towards the police officers who have got the shields up and he's saying he wants protection for his children. He's shouting in the streets, save our kids, save our children. There's no violence from what you can see. He's not being aggressive. Yes, he's being verbal. And then when the police start ramming him, with the baton, with the uh, riot shields, he's standing there. They're the ones that's coming towards him. He's not going towards them, being aggressive. He's standing there, voicing his opinion, what he feels, because of everything that's been going on, as you should be allowed to, freedom of speech. He's out there on the streets, getting together in numbers to protest against something that the majority of this country are fed up with, the immigration the illegal immigrants coming over on boats and nothing being done to stop this. Now, there's a lot of discussion about this. A lot of people have loads of different, or their own different opinions and thoughts. But mine as well, they're just coming in without being stopped. I can understand why they want to come here. Who wouldn't want to come here if you were living in a foreign country like that and you weren't getting any handouts or anything like that and obviously if you come from a war-torn war country which a lot of them aren't they're passing through different countries before they get here so a lot of people will feel exactly the same and nothing has been done to stop them coming over on the boats 
There's videos circulating every day because there will is people coming on saying they send the comments once one person said where are you getting the information from? The information is there online. It's visible. There's videos all over. There was a one just yesterday where it said there was 600 had come over. They're not even getting stopped. So everybody is fed up of this. The country is in an absolute shit state. There's 56,000 immigrants, illegal immigrants, housed in hotels across the country. Uh, I haven't got time to add the videos onto this because I'm just going to upload this as I've done it. If I was editing it, I would have put the videos on. There's a video that I watched yesterday where <clears throat> it was down London. In a back street, there's just rows upon rows of tents with illegal immigrants scattered all over in the streets. Now, this is what everyone's protesting about. Like, nothing is getting done about this situation. They're coming over here. Like I said, who's going to, who blames them? If you were in the country over there and you wanted to get to England or Britain for that matter, because it's not just England, it's the whole of the UK and Ireland. If you were living there and you were getting handouts like you were getting here and you got to get looked after, hats off to them for travelling across there to try to get here. In my eyes, it's not them to blame. It's the fucking government to blame for letting them in. And this is exactly what Peter Lynch was protesting about and the police were the ones that were being aggressive to him, hitting them with the riot shields. Then he started shouting at them, scum, the police are scum. Then he shouted, asylum seekers are child killers. Obviously, he's referred to the one that he believed was a child killer because the press, the mainstream media, put it out like that. So that was the reason behind that. Did he deserve to go to prison for two years and eight months? Not a chance. He should have been given... A suspended sentence. He's never been to prison before. From what I can see, he's been a law-abiding citizen. He's worked all his life. He recently wasn't working because of his ill health. So if he recently wasn't working because of his ill health, then they go and put him in somewhere like that, in amongst people that he's never probably mixed with in his life. A bunch of criminals, a bunch of loonies running around on them wings, because the wings, especially places like HMP Moreland, that's ram packed with drugs, phones, everything. And it's it's worse than being in the middle of a protest or a riot. Some of them prisons are an absolute fucking breeding ground for mayhem. And this Patrick Lynch, uh, Peter Lynch, sorry, 61 year old, being put in amongst all this, it's obviously been too much for him. It says it hasn't been confirmed, but from what I've seen and what I've heard, he took his own life inside the prison. Probably because he was scared, and if he's suffering with all these different types of illnesses, I know firsthand what it's like in prison. You don't get any help. If you need medical care in there, especially at the minute with the overcrowding crisis, you're not getting any. But who, who's to say he hasn't been getting leaned on by other inmates because of what he was in for? Which I highly doubt, but it is a possibility, and he probably was full of anxiety about being in there for that thinking that he was going to get attacked off some of the other inmates, which he wouldn't because of his age and because of the way it happened. But the way that the, the media put him across, put him all over the papers, imagine the shame the poor fella must have been feeling. Like anybody watching this that is up to date with these sort of things and this case, there's not one of you or one of you with a heart would say, good riddance, he deserved it. He didn't deserve to be in prison, a grandfather who had worked all his life. And on one of the placards that he had up, it's got all corrupt MPs and he's got police, TV, the media, the judiciary, judges. These are the things that he's got on his protest and placard. He hasn't got anything on racist griefing the immigrants. He's griefing the system for the way they're letting it happen. So in my eyes, there's no violence, no aggression coming from him. He's out there peacefully protesting with his placard until the coppers start ramming him. Then he's shouting, scum police. But there's a bit here where it says, during his sentencing, he got sentenced on August the 22nd, Lynch, it's calling me second name, but Peter, who was called a family man, pleaded guilty to violent disorder after he shouted racist and provocative remarks towards police. 
It was towards the police. He's not out there. It's saying racist. Just because he showed all immigrants are child killers, obviously that statement was a bit far-fetched, but that's just him being a bit angry at the whole situation, which the coppers have made him worse by ramming him. So he's then retaliated by shouting this police or scum. They've chalked him up in front of the courts, made an example of him, put him all over the media, and then left him to sit in jail for two years and eight months. You would have had to serve, obviously, what, 16 months in prison. But 16 months in prison for someone who is nearly an OAP or classes an OAP, he's over 60. It's going to be hard first time in compared to somebody off some young and off the streets or young man that's went in who can cope with all these scenarios in prison. But someone like this, where prison is rife with bullying and drugs, people might be putting pressure on him. It's too much for him. And like I mentioned earlier on, the shame of it, putting him in there and putting him all over this. And God knows what the fucking probation has been treating him like whilst he's in there. Trying to make him uh, feel like shit because of what he's in for. Because that's exactly what they do. And they've made an example of him. And he's went and done that. Imagine how his family must be feeling like. I feel really sorry if, if his kids and grandkids are watching this. My heart goes out to I'm so sorry for the situation that you have felt or you found yourself in. Through something that shouldn't have even happened. But I wanted to come on here and voice this because there are few people in my comments on previous videos being asking us about it and asking us to do an update. Because like I mentioned, a lot of people don't watch the mainstream media. They watch YouTube channels like this and you get the truth. You don't get any bullshit. You get someone that comes on and speaks what they really think. And that's exactly what I think about this whole situation and exactly what's going on in the prisons at the minute. They want all this the one in these type of scenarios happening, the one in everybody against each other, the prisons are at breaking point. There's going to be mass riots in the prisons before long because of the way the prisons are, believe it or not, all this overcrowding. But they're, they're putting people like this in prison. And while I'm on the matter, it's got nothing to do with this video, but if you've seen in the paper last week, some woman that had been out of prison for, I think she might have been jailed, I think it was 20 years ago, when she was on probation, I'm not even sure she was in prison, but she was on probation and she missed an appointment 20 years ago and it's flagged up on the computer. I had to have a look into this because I couldn't fathom it out. They've actually recalled her to prison, even though she's not on license now, but 20 years ago she broke a license condition and they put her in prison. If you look into it, have a look online. I had to look into it myself because I did see something pop up and I thought there must be more to it than that. But when you have a look, it's exactly that. What would, what's the point in putting someone like that in prison who was actually turning her life around, she was actually working and she missed an probation appointment 20 years ago and they've recalled out of prison? Madness. That's what's happening in the prisons, people. It's absolutely fucked. But you don't hear about this on the mainstream media. You hear about it on this channel. So if you are still watching people and you're enjoying it, hit that like button, subscribe and comment. Get the algorithm up. Get more people watching get more people awakened to what's actually going on inside the prisons. Hopefully you enjoyed that, people. Rest in peace to Peter Lynch and heartfelt, I was going to say apologies, but heart, on behalf of the prison, heartfelt apologies to the family of Peter Lynch. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.